This is Daria Shabad with Corporate Profile reporting on the news for Wednesday, June 12, 2013. Today in the news, Russia says it would consider giving the NSA whistleblower asylum. The Pope confirms the existence of a Vatican gay lobby and Google, Facebook and Microsoft want data request transparency. According to President Vladimir Putin's spokesman, Russia would consider granting asylum to the American who has exposed top-secret NSA surveillance programs if he were to ask for it. Spokesman Dmitry Peskov stopped short of saying Moscow would accept Edward Snowden, but pro-Kremlin lawmakers spoke out in favor of the idea, tapping into a lingering Cold War rivalry between the United States and a tinge of anti-American sentiment Putin has often encouraged. Putin and other Russian officials have often accused the United States of hypocrisy, saying it tries to impose standards of human rights, freedom and democracy on other nations while falling far short of them itself. According to reports in Catholic media, Pope Francis is reported to have acknowledged the existence of a gay lobby inside the Vatican. He also said there was a stream of corruption. Apparently, he made the remarks during a private meeting with a group of Latin American Catholic clerics who wrote a report on it. That report promptly appeared in a Chilean newspaper. He is said to have told the Latin American delegation that there were good, holy men in the administration, but that there was also corruption. He also said the Vatican would have to, quote, see what we can do about the gay lobby operating in the bureaucracy. In the days leading up to Pope Benedict XVI's resignation in February, there were rumors that gay Vatican clergymen had been working together to advocate their personal interests, leaving the Holy See vulnerable to blackmail and that this situation had influenced Benedict's decision to resign. Google, Facebook and Microsoft have asked the U.S. government to allow them to disclose the security requests they receive for handing over user data. The move comes after recent reports claimed that U.S. authorities had direct access to the servers of nine major U.S. tech firms, including Google and Apple. Google said the claims were untrue, but added that non-disclosure rules of such requests fuel that speculation. The U.S. has confirmed that the surveillance program exists, but it is coming under increasing pressure from many different sides to end the practice. The American Civil Liberties Union filed a lawsuit yesterday challenging the legality of the program. I'm Daria Shabad with Corporate Profile. Make sure to visit our website at corporateprofile.com for more top headlines from around the world, as well as interesting business profiles. Post your comments, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.